Hi yogis, welcome to my channel Neuland Yoga. I'm Katja and this session today is a wall yoga class. So all you need is a little bit of wall space and a folded blanket or a bigger towel or a pillow that has a similar shape. Before we start the practice on the wall, let's become still for a moment. So find a comfortable seat. Feel free to lean against the wall to use it as support already. You can cross your legs or you can stretch your legs out. And then find your comfortable seat, lean against the wall, feel the support there. And if you feel safe and comfortable enough, you can close your eyes. Bring your awareness inside, so connect to your inner self and just notice how you are feeling. How is the quality of your breath? What kind of thoughts are coming up? How is your energy level? And how is your mood? And please just observe without judging, without analyzing, without trying to change anything. It's good as it is, it's okay as it is. Just feel. Give yourself permission to be here and give yourself the time to practice and to arrive for your practice. Take a nice long deep inhale here. And with your exhale, leave everything behind you that you don't need for your practice. Your day, your work, your yesterday. Blink your eyes open if they are closed. And let's move into the first pose. So please take your blanket, your prop, your pillow and place it close to the wall. Sit beside your blanket, lean back, swing the legs up, lift your hips enough that you can bring the prop underneath your lower back, underneath your hips, the backs of your hips, and then place the head and the backs of your shoulders onto the floor. Stretch both legs up towards the ceiling. You might want to open your feet or you can also keep them together. You can keep your knees slightly bent or you can stretch the legs up. So find something that feels nice and supportive and make sure that your legs don't feel heavy. You want to have your legs completely supported by the wall. Rest your hands maybe on your thighs, maybe on your belly, maybe on the floor. If you are comfortable enough again to close your eyes, close your eyes. If you prefer to keep your eyes open, find a focal point on the ceiling. Do a brief body scan here. Is there maybe something you can adjust to make your pose more comfortable? Is there something you can do for yourself to make it more comfortable? If you found your position, find your stillness. So let the body settle. Allow the breath to flow. 
and completely arrive here in your first pose, legs up the wall. With your next inhale, wiggle your toes a few times, move your feet. And then open your feet a little bit wider, so they are about hip distance apart. Keep the left leg where it is. Slide your right leg down, the right foot down, and place the sole of your right foot against the wall. And then just take a moment to press gently against the wall, so feel the connection, foot, and leg. Doesn't have to be strong, just a connection. Now from here, draw your right knee, if you can, to your right shoulder or outer chest. You can use both hands on top of your right kneecap, or you can grab between calf and thigh. If grabbing the leg is not accessible for you, Keep the foot on the wall or just draw your knee towards your chest without using your hands at all. And then gently let the knee sink down towards chest or shoulder. Keep the right foot nice and relaxed. Keep the left foot nice and relaxed. And Take a couple of deep inhales into the belly, into the resistance of your right thigh. And with your exhale, see if you can draw the right leg a little bit closer towards chest and belly. Without using too much effort or effort at all. Feel free to stay here or come into half happy baby pose with your right leg. Lift your right foot and flex the ankle. With your right hand grab the outside edge of your right foot or maybe the inside of your right heel. And then gently with your knee bend draw the right knee down to your outer chest or armpit. Keep your calf away from the back of your thigh. And the sole of your right foot is facing the ceiling now. Again, if that's not accessible for you, maybe grab behind the back of your thigh or just keep the knee bent and come into the pose again that we just did before. For your half happy baby, make sure that it feels comfortable and spacious for the inner right groin. So you might have to bring the knee closer to your chest. You can also try to open more. For some people, it might be accessible to let the right knee sink down towards the floor. But again, it should feel comfortable, easy, spacious, without using too much muscular effort or maybe no effort at all. And then see if you can send your inhales into the belly again. Breathing against the resistance of your right thigh. With your exhale, allow the muscles in your right hip to soften. And allow the right knee to sink deeper and deeper and deeper. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, breathing, release your right leg. And bring the right ankle on top of your left thigh with your right foot flexed. Sleeping pigeon. Take your right hand and place it against your right thigh, maybe higher against your knee, like a little kickstand. And then gently press your right thigh away from you. 
Keep the right foot flexed. Keep both shoulders relaxed on the floor. And keep it a little bit more active here. So the right knee is aiming more towards the wall instead your chest. Keep your right foot, your right ankle active. Slide your left foot down. Bring the sole of your left foot against the wall. And now it depends on your flexibility and what feels comfortable for you. You can bring the left foot further and further down, which increases the sensation in the right outer hip. Or you can slide the leg up again if it becomes too much. So find your position for that sleeping pitch variation here. You can use your right hand underneath your right knee as little kickstand again, so the leg is completely supported. And then let your right leg become heavy. Let your shoulders become heavy, the back of your head heavy. Find your Conscious, deep breathing again. Inhale into the belly. Exhale, breathing, soften the belly. Let it sink down. Take a nice, long, deep inhale. Exhale, breathing. Release your legs. Stretch the left leg up again. Stretch your right leg up. Let both legs and feet rest on the floor. And take a moment to compare both sides, both legs, both hips. So just stay there. Observe yourself and feel. Now keep the right leg where it is. Slide your left foot down until the sole of your left foot is flat on the wall and press gently against the wall. So find the connection to your left leg. Release the resistance and draw your left knee down to your left shoulder. If you can, grab around your kneecap with both hands or just your left hand can also grab between calf and thigh again. If you can't grab the leg at all, just draw the knee into your chest. And then gently let your left knee sink down towards chest, shoulder, armpit or floor. Guide your inhales into the belly. With your exhales, allow the body to soften, especially the left tip. Allow the knee to sink deeper and deeper without pulling. So just let gravity do the work for you and let your breath do the work for you. You can stay here or come into a half happy baby pose. Lift your left foot and flex it. With your left hand, grab the outer edge or the inner heel. Keep calf away from thigh about 90 degrees more or less and then gently start drawing the left knee down to chest, armpit 
or even down towards the floor. If you can't grab the foot or the heel, grabbing the back of your thigh is an option or coming back into the pose that we just did before is an option. So choose yours. Find your stillness there. Find your breath. And again, just observe what is going on in your body. How is the pose feeling for you? Can you do something to make it more comfortable, more beneficial? Last few breaths here. Take a deep inhale. With your exhale, release and place your left ankle on top of your right thigh with your left foot flexed. Take your left hand and gently press your thigh forward and away from you towards the wall. Let your elbow and upper arm sink down. So build that little kickstand again to support your left leg. Make sure your left upper foot stays flexed. So it's quite active. The right foot up there on the wall can be relaxed. Now from here, slowly start sliding the right foot down. Bring the sole of your foot flat against the wall. You might want to keep it higher up there. Or if it feels nice for your left outer hip, start sliding the foot down more. Keep your left hand underneath your knee, underneath your left knee. And now let the knee rest there. So let your arm support the leg. Keep your left foot active, keep it flexed. Find your deep and slow belly breath again. And find stillness there. First find your outer stillness, so the body. And then find your inner stillness. Let your mind rest. Let your awareness rest. With your next deep inhale, slide your left leg up, release your right leg and place both feet back onto the wall. Relax ankles, toes, feet and legs. And just feel both legs, both hips, both feet. Make sure that both legs are in a comfortable position so they feel supported again. The legs don't feel heavy or tingly. If that happens, of course, you have to move and find a different position that works better. But if you can, stay there. Let your hands rest on your belly or maybe on the floor. You can close your eyes again or you can find your focal point on the ceiling. Bring your awareness to your breath 
And let's practice a round of mental alternate nostril breathing. So you won't use your hands to block your nostrils as we would do for alternate nostril breathing. It's a hands-free version. You just will visualize imagining how the breath is flowing in and out of the nostrils. So find your breath, take a deep exhale. And imagine your next inhale is flowing through the left nostril. And it is leaving, your breath is leaving through the right nostril. Visualize your inhale through the right nostril. Exhale through the left nostril. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left, inhale left, exhale right, inhale right, exhale left. Find your own rhythm, follow your own breath, stay connected to your breath and breathe nice and slowly, nice and deeply. After you have finished your next exhale through the left nostril, finish this round of mental alternate nostril breathing. Just let your breath come and go naturally. If you like to stay longer here in the pose with your legs lifted, just stay. If you are ready, to finish your practice, very slowly start sliding the feet down, bring your knees into your chest and just pause for a moment. From here, roll onto your right side. Take your left opposite arm underneath your head as support and again pause. Take a long, deep exhale there. With your inhale, push yourself up and away from the floor. If you can, keep your eyes closed. Move very slowly, mindfully, and then find a comfortable seated position. And lean against the wall for a moment. Let your hands rest on your knees or thighs. Eyes can be still closed. And one more time before we finish the practice here, become still. Maybe you can still remember how you felt in the beginning of our class. Now what has changed? How's your energy, your mood, the quality of your breath and the quality of your thoughts? Bring your palms together in front of your heart. Bow your head a little bit. If you like, thank yourself for your practice. Thank yourself for taking care of yourself and your body. And you can also thank your body and being grateful for what you have. Thank your body for practicing with you. And I thank you. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Head back into your day. 
and I'm looking forward to practicing soon with you again. Namaste.